Lindsay. We are at our second Black Friday location. We are at Sailfuss Comics here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, so if you ever get a chance, please check these guys out. They have a lot of cool stuff. They are really great people. And they have another location in Winston-Salem too. So if you can't make it to Greensboro, check them out in their other location. And check the description below for all their stuff, their Facebook, Instagram, all that. I'm about to go in. I'm about to buy some cool stuff. I will see you guys later. Bye. All right, everyone. We are starting our tour of Sailfish Comics. So we have a bunch of really cool pops right in the front because pops are awesome. Look, we have store dog Lois. Hello, Lois. Just hanging out, relaxing on this beautiful Black Friday. And then we jump right into the action figures. We've got tons. Absolutely love them. And look, there's those Ghostbusters I keep eyeing. They even have the library ghost, which kind of makes me want to take that home. But I'm not gonna. Not yet. Not yet. Um, we got some Iron Maiden stuff. Our stuff. I love these DC collectibles. They're beautiful. We got my girl Harley up there. Power Rangers Goldar. We got and Transformers. Ooh, I actually kind of like these, believe it or not. Got horror. Masks for sale. Masks for sale. We got Lego. Oh, and there's the new Star Wars that's been out in stores. Well, in case you can't find them at Walmart, they got them here. And you know what's really cool? They've got local art all the way up top. And I love it. They definitely support local artists, which is really cool. It's another thing I really like. And then we come to the glass cases. So we got the really cool pops up top. We got some cool action figures. Check them out. Oh, these are nice. And they're far as the eye can see. Look. Very reasonably priced too, guys. Oh, I kind of like that Joker down there. He looks super creepy and I like him. I might convince my husband to try and get him for me because I like him. He's neat. All right. And then, look, Black Friday sale. We've got graphic novels. And I have been all about graphic novels lately. Um, collecting individual stuff has just been kind of hard doing like individual issues. So um, it's really good to catch up on the graphic novels. So we've got tons, tons, we got like the really cool collectible pieces. Um, we've also got some awesome magnets. Love these. Very gorgeous. We got some geek culture golden books. Awesome. We definitely picked up the Skeletor a while ago. If you look at our last video, you can definitely see it. Look. That's cool stuff, guys, right there. Oh, kind of like the turtles one. Didn't see that before. Um, and then we got some more of the kids stuff. Kids comics. I love the kids section. Hey, this looks familiar. Shout out to Smitty. Oh, look at this one. Hey, Chris. So yeah, it's kind of cool. We got some other stuff down there too. Cool. Oh, look, we got some statue action and some posters and then an entire wall of comic books because, after all, this is a comic book store. Cool. See, we got more graphic novels. Cool spinner rack right there. We got some more graphic novels. More graphic novels. Cool, right? take you along the wall along the wall I'm gonna show you see it continues and you got your anime section which is super important right there um, got the death note and the attack on Titan very nice I have to get my second book see I need to get this one this one's what I need next I read the first one time for this one all right and then you got your back issues and you got some really cool statues. Love, they're really pretty, really pretty statues. 
I really like that one um, because we actually have the Batman and Joker from that set too. And we actually have a statue of Joker and Harley Quinn of that one too. So that's kind of neat. Definitely statues, people. All right. And then we've got more. The new releases that came out on Wednesday. Very important new comic book day, guys. Got to get your stuff. And this is the place to get it. I'm telling you. And then we have a wall of pop. And they have Barbie pops. That's kind of cute. I didn't know they had Barbie Pops. Oh, and Popples. I didn't know they had them either. Mm. Oh, look at this one, my friends. Power Rangers. Ooh. I like that one. And they got Goldar down there. Um, my husband was very nice and got me a really cool pop from here. And you're going to have to wait and see what pop he bought me, but um, he got me one. I was very excited about it. Um, I think the only pop left on my list to get is the um, My Pet Monster. I think that's the last one. And then, look, we got more in-case action over here. Aw, the child, he's wielding the force. He looks like he's sleeping, so cute. All right. Oh, we got some Star Trek. I see you. Some vintage Star Wars. Some newer Star Wars and some newer figs. Yo. That's hot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I like that. All right. Come take a walk with me. Let's see what we got. Oh, you can hear Lois. You can hear her going. Let's see, look, we got some Lego stuff. <laughs> Oh, poor Lois. And then we got some pins. Those are kind of neat, right? I like those. Spin rack of pins. And keychains. And blinds. Cool. And more action figures galore. You can pretty much find whatever you're looking for. And they definitely have hold boxes for you guys if you need stuff and can't get there right away. And then I will show you more at the front. And then we've done a whole walk through. Ooh, look, world's smallest. Still hunting those down, guys. Can't find them. And these retro toys things, these are a nightmare. Trying to find the My Pet Monster ones, nightmare. But that's cool looking. But that is it, guys. I'm gonna do a big pan around so you can see one last look. And I want you guys to take a look in the description for their stuff and their information. Um, and probably sure they have a Facebook or Instagram, so we're going to put that under there. So I just wanted to give a quick panoram of the store. See? Nice guys. Nice guys. And there goes Lois. Alright guys, I'm going to go do some shopping, pay for some more of my stuff, and enjoy your Black Friday. I'll see you guys soon. Hi, and welcome back. This is part like two or three, maybe possibly four, I don't even remember, of our Thanksgiving, Black Friday, slash Small Business Saturday weekend, we had a blast. And the, our next step, the, the next place I'm gonna take you to is Selfish Comics. And I know we've talked about them a little bit in the past, but we finally got a chance to do a walkthrough. Um, we had a child this weekend, he was with grandma this weekend, so I was able to go in and actually give you guys a tour. And I really hope you enjoyed it. They have, it's a really nicely organized store. I really love it. They have tons of great stuff. Um, very customer friendly, very customer oriented, and they have the cutest little puppy. Like, Lois was adorable, and I just wanted to snug her all day, um, but I digress. I wanted to show you some of the cool stuff that I got there. Um, so again, stay tuned at the end of the video for their information, so in case you're ever there, you can stop by and say hey. And um, they have two locations. They have one in Greensboro, North Carolina. They have one in Winston salem I actually think they might have another one, and I'm not sure where, so just check the description. But I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna show you what we found. I'm so excited. Um, so one of them was a surprise for me. And it's the first thing I see in the bag. So um, I know you guys probably saw my Biggie and my Tupac, but now I have an Easy E. I love NWA. Um, you know, I my music has come a long, long way, and NWA has definitely like made its way into my heart and soul, and I love them. And um, every time I see his face, I start singing "Boys in the Hood," and I just I love that song. I love this group. 
And this just, this makes me so happy. So this was a surprise for me. I'm very excited. I'm going to put him up here for you to see. Awesome, right? And look, he's got, he's got, there's a side. And you got the mug shot. <laughs> That's kind of cool, right? And then I'll, I'll quick show you the side too. But yeah, very nice. I love my pop. So that's going to go upstairs with my biggie and my Tupac. My collection's growing. I still need an ice cube. And I think there's another one I needed too. But um, definitely need an ice cube. I want the ice cube in his Impala. I'm just saying. That's 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 to come. I promise you. And then we have a merman from the Masters of the Universe. And I honestly don't know what we have left. Um, the only thing I think might be an Orco. I don't think we have an Orco. And I'm looking because it's right over here behind me. I don't think we have an Evil in either. Um, so we're getting there little by little and I don't think we have a Stratos. So, but yay, they, they knew we needed this one. And, um, and so it was ready for us in our box when we got there. So yay, love it. All right. And then we definitely picked up some more stuff while we were there. So the amazing adventures of the DC super pets and gee, I wonder why we picked this one up. Not only is it a good read, not only does it have great art, and it's got Ace the Bat Hound, which is the name of our dog, um, we are going to be interviewing this artist this week, Art Baltazar. So stay tuned. We're going to put this in our pile of art stuff, and we're going to you know, bring this up during our interview. So stay tuned. This is going to be a good one. All right. And then I know you guys know our love of comic book covers and getting art done on them. So we've got this Batman one and it looks like a front and a back cover too, which is really nice. Um, so we'll get some art done on that one. Um, this one we already had, I think. No, this is the second one. This is book three. I'm sorry. This is book three. Um, so yay, we got the next one. I have not read this yet. I'm, I'm trying to get through a couple graphic novels. So I, it's getting there. Um, and then of course we got our, um, our card to go with it. And this one's super cool. Look at that. I didn't, I didn't notice that last time. I, I didn't know this was in the bag, but we got the Joker and Red Hood thing going on and I love it. All right. And then this is one of my husband's reads. He wanted to read this. He actually found the comic on free comic book day and started reading it. And now he kind of wants to read the whole series. So, I mean, go for it. Eventually I'm going to... I want to try and read more graphic novels. That is my probably one of my resolutions for 2021 um, is to read more graphic novels. So this could possibly won't be one of the ones I read. And then another comic book cover would be a Harley Quinn one. So this one will be for me. So um, I'm going to tell you right now, Junkyard Jess is getting put on it. Um, my husband doesn't know it yet. And he may have banned Junkyard Jess from getting artwork done because she gets so much. But I'm going to make an exception because this is a Harley Quinn cover for me. And then the last thing we picked up, um, so we already do have a copy of PB and J. Um, this is the stuck together one, but we do not have a hardback. Um, we had two paperbacks and my son absolutely loves his. He, he goes, where's B? Where's my B? And he, he walks around the house until he finds his book. And then we got the other one, PB and J wannabes. And this is by um, Brian Smitty Smith. And if you have not seen his interview yet, I think it's going to be going up shortly. Um, I want to say within the next couple weeks or so. But that was a really good interview. These books are so good. I'm telling you, they're hilarious. They're great. And, you know, since we were in the Greensboro area, we decided to stop by and we asked him kindly um, if he could sign the book for us because um, we wanted a, a signed copy for our little Zeke. So he signed it for him. And we're going to put these up until he's a little older. I'll probably read this one to him um, since I don't think we have the paperback version of this. But we wanted to buy it while we're at Sailfish because, yes, we could probably get a copy and Smitty would be more than willing to give us one. But we want to support our friends. We want to support local artists. So that's kind of why, you know, we go to Sailfish. That's why we buy um, the books from Smitty, from Sailfish, but by Smitty and you know, we love everyone in the comic book community and we really appreciate what you guys do. It's not easy and it keeps us entertained during these really crazy times. So we thank you comic book lovers, creators, writers, anchors, everyone involved because it, it fuels our culture and it fuels the toys we play with. So thank you much. But overall, that was what we got at um, Sailfish. And again, Steven and Jerry are really great. 
go check out the stores um check the description below and i'm gonna go put my easy e pop up with biggie and tupac i'll see you later hello everyone so we've reached one of our first few milestones we've got to 100 subscribers we got to 125 so this one is our new one for 150 and i just wanted to take the time to thank you guys for watching these videos i mean the whole reason we got into it was because it was just fun whenever we my husband would buy things i would open them and the looks on my face when he when i opened them were priceless and he kind of wanted to catch it on camera and all the comments that I make, like, really another one of these. So it just started off as a joke between him and I. And it kind of just grew. I mean, I love toys. And I can't go anywhere without looking for toys. I have a toy, like, six cents every time I go into a store. So I'm really glad that you guys have shared this journey with me. And so now we have a new milestone, 150 subscribers. And once we get to 150, I would love to do another raffle since the first one went so well. And we had a lot of participants. So I kind of wanted to give you guys some choices. Uh, the first one, we just decided to give away a Skeletor. But, you know, we do other toys also on JetX Toy Box. So I wanted to give you the choices. So we have this guy. Um, so this is a Marvel Legends. And it's really cool. It's one of the Build-A-Figs. And, you know, this is kind of the only one that we're giving away from the Build-A-Fig. But it's kind of cool, right? Um, so we were thinking about giving away Mr. Wonder Man. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're interested. He's one of our options. And he's new in box. Really cool, right? He's got multiple arms. Apparently, multiple hands, apparently. And you get an abomination leg. Cool. Or, this is one of our newest acquisitions, um, the metal head from TMNT Pop. We got some turtle fans out there. Um, I was thinking maybe if you were interested, you might want to get the metal head. And this is a Target exclusive, by the way. So, just in case you haven't seen it out in stores, it's because it's a Target exclusive. Or... It wouldn't be a Gen X raffle if we didn't at least offer a He-Man. So as you can see, we have a boxed figure and we brought him out. We've got a Prince Adam for you. This is the Super 7 Filmation version. Um, so this is also one of the prizes that you can pick from. So um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. I'm trying to decide whether, you know, we just pick the winner and the winner gets to choose their prize or if we get enough requests we'll just make the raffle that prize but i think i might make it winner's choice this time um yeah and i think we'll probably do it the same way by looking at who has commented on our page and assigning them a number so once we get to 150 please make sure you comment comment on the videos and whoever has commented you will get assigned a number and then we'll do the random number generator again and then we'll find a winner and then we'll hopefully get that video up and if you could take a video of yourself opening the prize so we can see if you liked it or not all right so let's get to our next goal 150 subscribers you think you can do it I think we can do it. Get some more people, get some friends, because I'm excited to give these away. See you guys soon.